Sabres licking their wounds after a loss last night against Philadelphia. Still loaded up to start. Absolutely top line against top line and coming off three games in four nights and a disappointing night last night. You would expect a sharp game by the Sabres here. The Leafs will get a change. Quick up ahead and Alex Tuck will regroup at center. Onto the right side. Power nice pass. Tuck in and a blocker stopped there by Roll. Swung back to Klingberg. One more try. Nylander will pass off. Now hold on. Take a long look. Touch pass in front off the post. And the rebound cleared. Off sites there, but down low, quick movement. Off the and Levi with one good save, but the post helped him on that one in tight. Second unit comes on. Domi's got it. He'll pass it down for Tuesday. It's ruined to Levi. Again off yard troop on the doorstep. Said when you're playing with Nylander, that, that combination has just been deadly early on. He did say he doesn't follow that list. Here's a break. Mitch Marner's in. Scores! Six-game point streak for Marner and goals in back-to-back. -back. Every single zone, the Buffalo Sabres top line's thinking offense. They get a puck to the point, but they get it turned over, and how about that pass? Right through the slot, tape to tape as Janmark puts it exactly without losing a stride. Marner now in all alone, no hesitation, just kick back in forehand. And you can see that Devin Levi is fairly deep. He's starting to slide back and overextend your shift there on the power play. So a quick change. Power sends it across. He gets it back from Paterka. Big Owen Power takes a look. A one timer and Olsen missed the target. 28 goal scorer last year. They'll reset, and it's Paterka firing scores, power play goal, and Buffalo has tied it. As well, that's a five-game streak for him, three goals now in that stretch, but this is just simple power play tactics. Look at the positioning of Pozo in front. Wall takes a look around his left, and you got to make a decision as a goaltender. You've got the screen of your own defenseman, Brody, and the one in front by Pozo, and the initial peak left there by Wall, that's when the shot happens. Pass onto the left side, off the ski to Matthews, and Gergerson goes to work. Here's Zemgus Gergerson off, wall in front, and Joe shot stop. Back to the point, and that blast just missed the target. Leafs win another face off, Tavares behind the net. Tapped away by Power up the boards. Power and Krebs, the assists on the goal, and here's a two on one. Thompson's in, stops, and then glanced off the goal post. I believe been out of play so many strides as an offensive player but when you've got a 6-6 body and that long reach look at the patience that he has he feels the pressure holds it back. Matthews back door Klingberg for Nylander down low across there's the backdoor play and Levi a brilliant stop Just get across as quickly as you can almost drops his stick there but got his glove in a good position they're probably one of the first things to go on the bench, and he's not the first guy to break one over the top of the bench. And the Leafs start with Nylander and company on the power play. And the puck fired down the ice. Another aggressive move there by Tavares down right by the blue paint, but he just liked the calmness of Devin Levi there. He didn't overreact, so he kept the stick on the ice, and Tavares couldn't find anything. Teach Thompson breaks it up. He's got a break. Thompson in. Stop and scores. Short-handed rebound goal. And Teach Thompson, who couldn't beat Wolf on the power play, does short-handed. There was no option, and he took a quick look to know it. Now you've got the last two guys that cannot turn the puck over. And this one just trickles through. As you see Joseph Wall's frustration, he felt that it was behind him and actually knocked it in himself. Wasn't able to get to it quick enough. Quick backhand, forehand, went underneath the arm. Oh, look, look at how aggressively the Buffalo Sabres are attacking in the zone. They, they're not allowing any easy neutral zone open ice and trying to stand up at the line. They slide through, though. Here comes Elander in the slot. Matthews scores on the rush. Power play goal. No speed by Matthews and Marner. This time, the aggressiveness 
Everybody's staying up over the line, and it's Marner who sifts his way through two Buffalo Sabres. That opens up the middle of the ice, and Matthews comes jumping in through on top. And you give him that kind of opportunity right down the middle. Number 34 is going to score more than not. Nylander with a perfect pass and yet another point. Mitch Marner's got a couple of points in the game. And it's 2-2. Here comes Lagasson with Gregor driving to the net. Puck doesn't arrive. And back out comes Buffalo. Lee Teed. Skinner's in. Shot scores. Jeff Skinner answers right back. And Johnson gets his first point. He's the one who makes that pass. And the fourth line for the Leafs gets a chance. But how about Johnson not only getting past Reeves, but making a perfect pass in stride to Skinner. And Skinner just puts his head down here and just a wonderfully placed up and over the shoulder. Look at the and, and do so that way as we get set for the third period, Chris and Craig. 3-2 Buffalo with the lead as we start the third. The Leafs have had a couple of third period comebacks this year. In fact, from two goals down against Montreal in Tampa. Trying to claw back here. And they have! Austin Matthews has the league lead in goals. And the Leafs have tied it 17 seconds in. The attention to details and play with a purpose. This is a play that is a high draw and it's in on the forecheck. Yarko gets it in first. Marner goes in on the forecheck. The deep man pinches to come down and keep the pressure on. And you see this so often. 16 finding 34. This will be an interesting period and a really important one for the Buffalo Sabres too. And the three games in four nights, you think if they can ratchet it up a notch here, having played the intense that they have. Here's a chance in front, and big stop, rebound, scores! Jordan Greenway, and again, Buffalo takes the lead. Oh, that created the scoring chance. Here's a four check. Greenway keeps it alive along the boards. Paterka tries to get it out in front, and what a first save there by Wall. But on the rebound, Paterka with a nice pass that goes off the stick of Marner, but now Klingberg is tight to his net, and Greenway just finds Matthews fires that face-off win right back. Shot scored! Tipped in front. It's a hat-trick for Austin Matthews. I'm not sure all the fans know that he got a piece of it. There's only one hat on the ice right now. On Thursday, in the face-off dot, you had one from center ice that ends up in the back, and there's the next right through. And Giordano getting that, making sure that puck gets through. And there's a double deflection. Both he and Clifton in front got a piece of it. But Giordano makes sure he gets it past. John Tavares off the boards to Giordano, who threw the assist on the last Matthews goal. Nylander fired that as blocked. And it's a clear-cut breakaway the other way. It's J.J. Paterka stopped. Taking an offense and a chance here, but what a block by Greenway. Now Leafs are trapped, but watch Nylander at least put pressure on Paterka. Paterka Darlene plays it in behind the net. Skinner trying to center. Thompson at the side of the cage. And the Sabres... Keep applying pressure. Flipped it across. Dahlien scores. Hit somebody in front. And it's Alex Tuck. Down low. Started from the corner. And this is a shot from Rasmus Dahlien, but right off the arm. And look at the reaction to Tuck. Just laughing here. You know, there's times when you make a great play and you got no chance. And Matthews instead of Yarnko. So an unusual grouping here with Domi in the middle. Giveaway wall and a goal stopped by Max Domi to keep the leads alive. And now on to the stick of Nylander. Nylander holds on, takes a long look, gives it to Klingberg, shooting and knocked down in front. Nylander trying to stop it up. Alex tucks away, empty net, and Tuck is going to score again. And it's 6-4 Sabres. First, so now you get it alive, but this is a play that you just can't make if you're John Klingberg. It's just far too casual a wrister right into the bread basket that gets blocked. Round it comes to Paterka. The clock drains a big road win. Buffalo gets back to 500.
and six and six, and the Leafs fall to five, four, and two.